Released in the summer of 1977, Bob Marley and the Wailers Exodus is considered one of the most important reggae albums of all time. It spawned five hit singles, Exodus, Waiting in Vain, Jamming, Three Little Birds, and One Love, People Get Ready. Peaked at number 20 on the Billboard Pop Chart and was coined the best album of the 20th century by Time Magazine in 1999. It propelled Bob Marley into international stardom and set the stage for the most memorable performance at the One Love Peace concert, where he joined the hands of opposing party members, Michael Manley of the People's National Party and Edward Siega of the Jamaican Labour Party. Exodus album is Marley's most political and religious work, but it also features beautiful, vivacious, and downright funky and sexy jams. As a committed Rastafarian, Marley would often quote the Bible, so it was no surprise that he chose to name his album after the Old Testament second book, which portrays the Exodus of the Israelites. However, there is another reason for the title choice as Exodus also portrays a man experiencing his own personal exodus. Marley and his wife Rita were shot in 1976 during an invasion into their home two days before they were to play at the Smile Jamaica concert which was primarily an election rally for Michael Manley who was the Jamaican Prime Minister at the time. They were both seriously wounded but despite the assassination attempt Marley played the show and afterward he and his crew promptly left for London. London was not only the other home of the island boss Chris Blackwell, but also the home of thousands of Jamaicans who had their own distinct community within the city. Exodus was recorded at Blackwell's Basin Street Studios in West London, which was one heart of the Jamaican community. There in the Ladbroke Grove area, where Notting Hill Carnival started the clubs like Metro Youth Club featured sounds like Dennis Bovell's Suffer Hi-Fi, who played dubplets from Marley's work in progress. Even though he was across the ocean, his attachment to his home country found its way into his songs. As Rolling Stone states, tracks such as Jammin' are still suffused with the deep essence of reggae and life at home. Three Little Birds, for example, has been written on the back step of Marley's home in Kingston, where he sat and smoked herb. Each time Marley rolled a spliff, he would discard the seeds. The birds of the song's title would pick them up. The music have a purpose, Marley said, and his spiritual intent was never clearer than the anthem One Love.